What's up, deep thinkers? It's Robert from Existence First. And I have a mental exercise for today, so let's try it, okay? I'm going to tell a story first, and then I'm going to uh, apply it to the mind, and then we'll do the exercise, okay? So the story goes, well, it's, it's a basic story from my real life. I got an email from a property management company, okay, regarding a house. Now, this email contained a property inspection, and so... Basically, the, the inspection listed uh, anything that needs to be repaired, and there was only one repair. It was the floor was sinking a little bit um, in the kitchen. Okay, so not a huge deal, but probably represents something that uh, has a cause deep below the surface. And now you might be guessing why I'm going to take this with psychology, but. Um, there was no uh, repair recommended, so I asked, okay, um, can we have more information on this? So uh, the property managers sent out a specialist to take a look at the floor and inspect it. And uh, lo and behold, mm -hmm. there's actually um, some, some joists underneath the floor that are old and rotting. And uh, that they're becoming weak and that's causing the floor to dip a little bit, okay? And what's the solution to this? Well, you have to rip up the floor and the subfloor, whatever that means, and then uh, replace these joists, right? Which, if you're not familiar with home improvement, it's like the wooden planks, okay? Now, end of story. Here's the analogy, though. What if I was talking about the mind? What if I was talking about ourselves and our minds okay so so there's some sort of deficit on the surface there's some sort of uh, not literally a discrepancy but some sort of defect there we go a defect on the surface which it's not it's not going to cause the whole house to fall down or anything it's not going to cause the house to go burn up in flames right but it's a it's a slight sinking in the floor it's a it's a minor defect that if you walk through the house you say oh, okay well yeah not all houses have this uh, it's not a huge deal but it's right so what if i was talking about yourself or your mind right your psyche and and so on the surface there's this slight slight defect that's noticeable but it's not it's not to the point of like, oh, this house is uninhabitable, right? All right, then we we investigate. We see what's what's going on below the surface, what's causing this, right? And we find that there are some foundational pieces, meaning the floor joists, that are in need of replacement, that are defective. All right, and so if we think about our... I have a whole program, or a, there's a whole lecture in one of my products um, that's called, the lecture is called Your Psyche as a House, okay? If your mind is a house, and you've got a framework, right? If you look at, drive down the street and you see houses that are just starting to be built, they have a foundation and they have these, um, you know, these wooden frames or whatnot to form in like a skeleton, okay? So the basic, if the basic foundation, if something there the pillars, basically the pillars of your mind, your philosophy, your beliefs, okay? If each of those planks is one of your beliefs, but you got those planks from a bad hardware store, meaning you just adopted certain beliefs from uh, adults uh, around you as you grew up, then those planks are defective and they're rotted, okay? But you put up drywall, you painted, Right, and then you repaint it, and then you need a new, you know, put some cool furniture in it. So it's kind of hard to notice, but if, <laughs> but if you actually like inspect your mind and your life, you realize that there is, that there are some problems, and they're resulting from these false beliefs, that, uh, that are hiding behind the wall, but are still having an impact. Um, and really, they do threaten the whole the integrity of the house. It's just not it's not a matter of life or death. Okay, so that's so that story is meant to produce a little bit of insight. You know, this week I had a huge insight 
into one of my own pillars, right? And I don't think I'll go into detail about it, but um, but it was it's mind blowing. I was I was really excited about the the newfound realization, but I mean I can't believe that I carried around that belief for so long. So in any case, examine. Let's examine. I mean, as Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. So let's do some property inspections on our minds and uh, see what we find out, okay? Think deeply and put your existence first.